Hello, this video is mainly to develop confidence in the minds of children. The teachers and parents play very important role in bringing up children with confidence because we find our children finding difficult to face exam. Though they prepare well, they become jittery just before the exam and they become sick. So they are facing all this and they are scared of failure. So let them be brought up with the mind to accept both success and failures. They need to be confident about anything. Bhagavad Gita says, that is Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita says, man is made by his beliefs. As he believes, so he. He is. So it depends on his faith. It depends on his beliefs in what he wants to be. That helps him to concentrate on that, to focus on his goal. So the term goal is used here. So it is very important for children to set up goal that before that what is the fundamental needed is know yourself there's a song that line itself conveys the meaning and it is a very good philosophy yes if we know ourselves we can win anything that is we that we that makes us fight for what we want so you can fight against injustice, you can fight against um, any, any issues you are facing or any challenge. So you should know about yourself. So when you know about, about yourself, you know about your plus and minus, that is your strengths and weakness. So in schools, this activity is conducted, it is SWOT analysis. SWOT. This is done at the various level, even at the college, university level, they do and in a, a um, interview for job where they go, when they go for that uh, interview for getting job, there also they conduct, but the level is different. So uh, when they are young, if you do that, you know what, what the child feels it is plus for him, that is where he feels he is strong. That means if the child feels I am a good writer or I am good at art, um, making pictures or that does it drawing, anything. And if the child feels I am not so good in something else. For example, he may be good at drawing. Uh, he, may be, he may feel that he is not good at reading. So in that case, we are not saying it in weakness. We are saying you are too good in this. So there is a possibility of doing better in that too. So we are giving that confidence. We are making that weakness into strength. Instead of saying you are weak in that. That weakness has to be conveyed into the child's strength. That depends on us. That depends on the words we use. That depends on how we uh, give encouragement to the child, that moral boosting should be there. For that, self-confidence is very important. So the child should have confidence, only then the child will put in effort. So to take effort, you should give confidence to the child. So the child has to be informed about what he, where he is good. The child knows about himself or herself and as a parent we should tell them. So this, in this process we are doing character building also because we make the child understand where he is very good and where he is not so good. Then how to accept that and how to promote this. So that naturally you make the child accept everything. So the character building is also going on. 
simultaneously and the child has to be given only the positive thoughts so when you give the positive thoughts when you say yes you are good you can do so such things will promote the child's strength inner strength the mind is static uh, the thought is dynamic energy so what happens when you give thoughts the thoughts get more powers because the mind produces more energy when you think of thought and especially the positive thoughts so that thought gains the power when thought gains the power it enables the enable the child to open up the various channels of communication in that case what happens the child can communicate freely that is he is able to bring out what he feels there will not be any inhibition he will not feel the, i may be wrong so i don't want to say he will not have such blocks because that positive energy is giving him thought is giving him the energy so the energy breaks up all the channels of communication so he comes out and he shares his thoughts his feelings so there is more open talk so that open talk promotes confidence in the child and this helps him to have all the accomplishments accomplishments means for example when you when a child gets the positive energy and the child is able to come out yes i will do this like if i do better in this area i can achieve much more so when he does it he is going towards the path of achievement so he is he is able to understand where he is and what best he can do to promote himself in that particular area so he is moving towards achievement so this is the magic of positive thoughts when a child is able to express himself freely naturally there is a open talk so what is a, a benefit of doing this open talk he has many positive thoughts in his mind that is why he is confident so what happens these positive thoughts get saved in subconscious mind so at home we find the elders they say you should speak only the good words for example when someone says yes i can do it i will do it if you say no i cannot do it no it is very difficult for me i don't think i will do this so when you talk of in negative you, that get both whichever you are stressing that get stored in your subconscious mind so what happens those negative words or negative qualities which get saved in our subconscious mind will drive you so what happens here the attitude action and behavior are decided by this way so that what you stored in your subconscious minds drive you to that kind of behavior drive you to have that kind of attitude action so naturally you find you are in the wrong side wrong path whereas if you keep only the positive thoughts yes i will do i can do i have this potential i can do this which much more help or anything much more coaching i can do this i can achieve this if you have all this speaking truth and following no following non violence and all the good thoughts good qualities if you focus on that only those get stored in the subconscious mind and that comes to your conscious mind and make the child a good human being because the child 
is exposed to only the child has only the positive thoughts so the child is able to bring out the positive thoughts into actions so the subconscious mind is a very powerful tool we have so we should be very careful in storing when you store or when you utter words or when you are doing any action we have to be very careful because only that is collected in our subconscious mind for example if you take a glass full of muddy water and what you are doing though you empty uh, if you make that glass half with muddy water and pouring a clear water into that you find the water still remains muddy only though you are pouring the clear water into that the same way when you store the negative thoughts negative words negative actions in your subconscious mind only that will stay in that mind so that decides the character of the person so a, a, a man is made by his thoughts made by his beliefs so naturally those negative thoughts do not take us in the right direction so it is very we have to be very careful as parents we should see that we are using only the right words good words positive words and exposing the children only to the positive action because our mind it is auto command so there you find the positive words or automatically get stored and drive push the person to take the actions accordingly and for a child to get a good routine or to know to understand him better or to develop healthy ha- habits right from the morning as the child to get up with the right use the right side because the right mind is activated when you do the activities and the left my brain is also activated right brain and left brain both are activated and right brain for understanding and left brain for analytical thinking so that is why we find no when you get up use the right hand and you get up and bend forward and touch the floor with right hand and you after that you touch your eyes so these are the practices recommended by the elders in the family so the reason is they develop good body and mind and meditation meditation is very important meditation for keeping the mind uh, healthy so you, you are able to develop span of attention you are able to develop the concentration concentration is very important while reading so that is very important so meditation is very important and the child has to be uh, trained to prepare a time table for the day what to do and the time so that he will learn the time management too and as he grows he should be taught to set goals goal setting and programming mind so when he sets goal he should prepare his mind how to reach that goal so when you set goal you should do prayerize pictureize and actualize so prayerize we we all believe in our prayers so you are offering your goal to the god through your prayers then pictureize visualize if you want to become a doctor visualize that if you want to become an engineer visualize that if you want to become an actor visualize that so as you visualize it becomes true because you are only thinking of it and you are working for it so next one actualize it is not enough if you do only prayers and if you do only pictureize actualize you are taking efforts effort to go through that process how to achieve what are the steps to be taken what are the procedures where, where which are the classes i should attend 
to take up this exam uh, to get through in this examination so all these efforts all these steps have to be followed under actualize so prayerize pictureize actualize then you reach your goal you will attain that so this is very important so the basic is confidence this, there should be clarity in your mind only then you are setting the goal this is like even great things all great things if you look at uh, can happen even from small things for example if you look at banyan tree such a big tree but the seed is very small if you look at beehive small bees collecting making honey and you get such a huge quantity of honey by then so anything is possible by us it is not that only you can do or the other person cannot do anything can do so let us have that confidence in ourselves but follow all this so know yourself and build self confidence then goal setting and work for that prayerize pictureize and actualize so these these are the steps to be followed by the children to so the parents to motivate them the child will get the confidence sometimes i say i used to sing song for my children unnaiya rindal nee unnaiya rindal so that's a song i always um, refer then i used to sing song for my son unnal mudiyum thambi thambi unakkul irukkum unnai nambi so we should know our capabilities we should understand ourselves that is the basic thing we find many people not able to face the failure so they go to the negative action all thinking like that should be stopped so how to stop it how to protect such people from doing so only by developing confidence yes i can do that i will do that even if this way is closed there is another way open let me explore that way and go through that this how the children also do if you are not able to the particular subject then choose another subject which wherever you feel comfortable whichever is easier easier for you or you like that is very important to a subject you like take up that subject and do that but only then you have interest when you have interest you have confidence when you have confidence you go set the goal so you you are following each step beautifully so understanding ourselves is the fundamental then how to face exam facing exam we have we have talked about self confidence we have talked about visualizing goal that is very very important that visualizing goal should be throughout even for elder elder persons because at any age I, we can have goal and that goal has to be visualized by us because you are thinking only on that so that you will be working on that program your mind and look at the mirror say yes i will i will do well i i will definitely do well so that that confidence level will be increasing so in the examination how children should face the paper with confidence as soon as you get the paper you just do deep breathing so when you do that you should be aware of your breathing when you do that you find the right brain and left brain get activated so right brain is for understanding left is for analytical thinking so in the paper when you go through 15 a uh, reading time is given i think it is 15 minutes so during that time you can read the questions and you understand the questions wherever you get application questions why how questions then you can connect the answer or you can recall the answer so you are because your left brain is activated so you you have you get that energy you get that power so that is why to remain calm or to do meditation or to do breathing exercise just before you start the exam that is when you get the question paper just before that if you do that 
you your mind will be in a very very good condition and that will be healthy to face the paper so that you will not get jittery you will not get confused you will not lose confidence so this is what we have to do and you have already prepared the answers are in your my subconscious mind you have to open it so how to open concentration is the key so with the key you open the subconscious mind and the answers because you have been reading for so many days so many months so definitely all the answers would have been registered there so you can bring out those answers from your subconscious mind to conscious mind and there will be continuous flow of getting answer so you can do the exam within that time so you 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 will be good at time management too because you should be you, when you do this sort of exercise you find you get it you will get the answers quickly so you know in within what time you have to write so many questions then what sort of questions to be answered so you will be knowing within 3 hours how many questions i will do so you, your mind plan that is what programming your mind so your mind plans so well and you are you are getting the answers from your subconscious mind to conscious mind so there is no problem you can write very well and you will not become um tense there's no tension in life if you follow such procedures so believe yourself that is very very important so the belief in yourself is is the basic thing that is that is what called confidence self confidence this is applicable for all age groups